had a part in it, but she doesn't admit that she manipulated an autistic boy. Okay, he's autistic, he's schizophrenic, he has mental issues as it is, and she just manipulated him. She manipulated him into doing this. We're talking about the Gypsy Rose case. And it's really, really been bothering me because it's like... You're good, Shanice. Um, Because I just don't understand how... No, Marie, she wasn't sick. Exactly. Exactly. She wasn't sick. It was all a facade by her mother. She was not sick. It was fake. And I feel like she should have done the same amount of time as Nick did. Yes, I get that she had trauma. I get that. But there's all there's other ways that she could go around this. Exactly. She planned the whole thing. She was not sick. That girl was healthy. She didn't need the feeding tube. She didn't need all those surgeries. She didn't need chemotherapy. She didn't have cancer. She didn't have, um, what was it? Mus muscular dystrophy, I think is what they called it. She didn't have that. She could walk. She knew she could walk. But she knew that there was something going on. Watch her interviews. She knew that majority of what her mother was saying was fake. It was lies. She even admits that she went along with it. Okay, and I get that she wanted out of the situation, but there's also other ways she could have went around that. She could have called CPS or signaled somehow to get someone else to call CPS. What's the name of what? Are you talking about the show or the documentaries? We're talking about Gypsy Rose. She had snuck a cell phone, so why didn't she call CPS and be like, hey, I'm being abused? Like, I mean, she knew that her mother tying her up was abuse. So why didn't she report that? Whether she knew her real age or not, she could have very well took the phone that she snuck and called. I think she was just very young and traumatized. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I don't I don't understand either. Yeah, but she knew she knew. Even the neighbors called CPS. Or not the neighbors, sorry, it was her one of her doctors. Called CPS. Exactly. She knew she could walk. Don't come in here starting your shit, dude. That is true. Yep, I agree, Ashlyn. I agree. I 1000% agree with you because I've sat back and I have thought about this and thought about this and thought about this and thought about this. While, yes, she is a victim of what her mother did to her, she also turned around and used a manipulation tactic on Nick. She even asked him, she said this in an interview, she even asked him if he would protect her from anyone, 
even her mother. And when he said yes, she turned around and asked him if he would her mother for her. Yeah, she's definitely manipulating people. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. Like, this is all... And the thing is, like, she... To get parole, she went and she said that she admitted to the crime, right? But now that she's out, she went to this interview and she is retracting that statement. So she's going to get herself put back in prison eventually. Uh, we don't know for sure. She didn't even know her real age. As far as we know, she was 18, something like that. Hi, Tasha. I'm okay. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. And then making her famous and letting her have a platform. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, she didn't know her real age. Right. She was in her 20s when she got locked up. So, which made her... At the time of the crime, so she wasn't even a child. She did her time, though. I'm sure she has multiple psych evaluations in prison. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve to live her life. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I am saying is she did manipulate Nick. Very, very bad. No, her mother said that she was mentally a child. She is very, very smart. She was smart. She was not mentally a baby. That was all that her mother had said. Here, baby. Oh, here, baby. Yeah, I stand by what I say too, and I feel like Nick is more of a victim in this because he was very, very, very manipulated. He was very manipulated. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually going to jump off here right quick because I just missed a very important phone call. So I'm going to come right back and we'll continue this. So, um, if you're not already following, follow if, yeah. All right. I'll be back y'all. I agree, Ashlyn. I'll be right back y'all. Jeez, before I start dinner, I'm making, um, hamburger helper. But she was hungry, so I went ahead and made her some mac and cheese for now. And then she's going to get a bath. Alright, how are you? I really want to change the caption. But this is a really good topic to talk about, so. Hey! Liv, are you at work or busy at all? Because I really want to do some battles. <laughs> we don't hurt if it's true with that, so I can give her another bite. <laughs> You're not getting no soda, girl. Wait, what's going on? 
Do you want to just message me? You're at work. Rudeness. Uh. I know, but I bet Lily Pug is excited to be a big sister. She does say baby quite often. She'll say baby, baby. And she kisses her toys, like her little uh, peekaboo baby toy and her other toys. It's just adorable. But I don't know how she's going to feel about it, honestly. I think she's going to be a little bit jealous. To be honest. I just can't believe I'm finally having my boy and it's my last baby. My last hospital stay. Well, for pregnancy anyway. Just, oh. Oh no, they're not going to have to share a bed. Mm -mm. I think if we're still here, they'll bring another crib for him. And then, if we're not here, then we'll have beds. Two, Hi. Three, but I believe that they will bring another bed for him if we're still here. Yeah, they better because they're not going to be able to share a bed as much as she moves at night. You yeah, know. Hey. What happened, baby? You ready for another bite? Can you say eat eat? There you go. Oh, ooh, ooh. You're dropping it, girl. You gotta be careful. I've been alright. Tired of all this drama bullshit though, so I'm trying to do something different. And I blocked um, a couple people that I found out was posting me on YouTube and was screen recording my live. So I blocked them. And I'm doing better. I don't even know that crystal, so I have no idea. I'm not saying it was you, because I don't know. I wasn't there. When I went in, I noticed there was a lot of animosity, and that's all I know. I don't know who it was. I want to try these, guys. Oh, girl, apparently there's a bunch of old ladies that sit and screen record my, <laughs> screen record me, so. But I, I don't know. I just know what I was told. I'm not saying that you did or you didn't, because like I said, I wasn't there. So. What's wild? I'm alright. How are you? Guys, comment. Um, are you on Team Nick for the Gypsy Rose case? Or are you on Team Gypsy? Neither. Personally, I really truly think that Nick got manipulated. And I stand on that. Yeah, they're both. <laughs> I agree, but Nick was also autistic, schizophrenic, had a lot of mental issues. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm eating Arizona fruit snacks. 
He has a dark side, though. Apparently, his dark side, like split personality, is the one that did it. No, I don't agree with that either. Are you, are you looking for your brother, honey? He's not here yet. <laughs> yeah, she definitely took advantage of that boy. She made him fall in love with her. She basically manipulated him. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Maybe I'm just trying to see it. <laughs> May really did used to troll me, man. May. I'm not gonna lie, girl. You used to get under my skin so fucking bad. Mm hmm. She's definitely blaming everything on him. And that's one of the saddest parts. Like, she's not taking accountability for any of it. She's blaming it all on Nick. Thank God, though, the judge is gonna do a retrial for him. There's going to be a retrial for him. I don't know, girl, but you used to get so under my skin. Like, I could ignore Nicole and Tate, but for some reason, you got under my skin. Exactly. Yep. It got denied. I thought they just made that motion. Another bite? Another bite, baby? There you go. No. It's all right. You're good. You're good. I'm over it now. I'm glad that we were both woman enough to be able to work things out. Hey, you all right? You okay? Don't do that. You good? Girl, stop pretending. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. Mama her rug rats. Stop, you're scaring me. <laughs> Give me a second. I gotta get her her milk. She's scaring me. Here, drink some of your strawberry. You're scaring mommy. God. Yeah, you mean her parole, but yeah. And the fact that he looks almost identical to her mother is crazy to me. It's crazy to me. Just the uncanny resemblance. Why do I always miss that person? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about Gypsy. I'm trying to get... Hey, Mama D. 
she cheated on her husband in prison. How did you... Okay, so, like, I've seen some stuff. And, like, I just finished watching the act. I've been okay, Mama D. How are you? Does he know this? good i'm glad you're doing good does he know this like is he aware of this mr phase two girl oh i know i know the act isn't like completely accurate but she did say that some of it was like reliving her life And where can I find that at, Mom and her Rugrats? Hulu? Lifetime app? Is the Lifetime app free? Because if so, I'll download it. Because um, I watch the act on a free app. Because I didn't have Hulu, so... Yeah, but I forget to cancel trials, and then it comes out of money, and, uh... <laughs> okay, that's money we don't have to be wasting. Uh, T-Mobile. <laughs> that's why I don't do free trials no more, y'all. <laughs> Hulu's free. I didn't know that. That's good to know, though. Don't you dare take your butt to sleep this early. You better freaking not, child. If you do and you wake up at 5.30, we're going to have issues. Yeah, she is. When was Hulu ever? Who is this? Big Bam. They're a mod, so who is that? You ain't no new here. You're a mod. Did you change the name again? That's probably why I couldn't freaking find you to share the live. Big Mammy 27. <laughs> what in the fuck? Oh, we didn't. We're still in the shelter right now, Mama D. We haven't gotten in a place yet. Sadly. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, the Casey Anthony story is so insane. Thank you, Mama D. I'm sure I can find the interviews on YouTube. Hi, Jess. Hi, Juliet. Hi, Summer. Wow. I'm good. How are you? I'll be 18 weeks pregnant tomorrow, y'all. I'm almost already halfway through this pregnancy. It's so bittersweet. I agree, Mama D. I know. I'm good. How are you? Thank you. Y'all, like, <laughs> it's so bittersweet, though, because it's my last kid. 
Um, they are Arizona fruit snacks. Yeah, I definitely believe it was Casey too. Thank you, Radiance. They're actually really not that great. But they're good for me because they're gluten-free. They're fat-free. They have vitamin C. And they're made with real fruit. But they taste nothing like the Arizona drinks. So, just saying. They're lying. That's not true. She is going to stay with her while I go have the baby. Yeah. Like they're they're they are completely twisting what I said. What I said was his mom is going to watch her while I go have the baby. Yeah. I haven't been live in days because of it. It's bad. Because even when we're not live, they're talking about us. I'm alright, Julia. How are you? Way too much drama. This is such a toxic ass app. Literally. Like, come on. Yeah, I'm so gonna walk into his mom's and be like, here, I don't want her no more. <clears throat> Are you dumb? And his mom will watch her for a few days. But she's not gonna want to take care of a baby. Continuously. So for them to even say that is ridiculous to me. I know you will, Mama D. I appreciate you. Well, uh -huh. I would have to travel an awful long way just to drop a baby off to my mom. Like, they'll do anything to... Bully people. Like, hell yeah, I'm gonna travel from New York all the way to fucking bumfucked Egypt to drop a kid off. Like, they're, they're being ridiculous at this point. They ain't got no life. Let's be fucking for real. <sighs> Whoops. They're irrelevant. <laughs> uh, they gonna feel real dumb when they see me with both babies. They gonna look real fucking dumb. Yeah. yeah. This is what I deal with on a daily. This is why I hate being live. Can you say eat? Say it nice and loud. Eat. I know. I know. And the second I start doing my makeup, they're going to be all in here trying to post me and shit. I think I blocked majority of them but oh they're mad because I get on here and I ask for help when I need it that's why they bully me because they think they're better than any whoops 
They think they're better than me. I know. I know they'll find something else to say when I have both babies with me. Like, they're, they're, it's a non-stop thing. Non-stop thing. It's been constant since before I had Lily. You would think they would get bored of the same old shit and want to move on. All right, Mama D. But they just. <laughs> they are just nonstop with the BS, honestly. Literally, it's like mind the business that pays you, dude. Because I know you don't get paid for trolling me. I know you don't get paid for bullying me. And the funny part is they hide behind fake accounts. The only people that I can say did not hide behind a fake account and that one of them is in here right now and we made up is May, Nicole, and Tate. Those are the only three people that I can honestly say did not hide behind a fake account. They came to me on their real account. I'm talking about the trolls, Mama D. Like, they did not hide. And I think that's why they got under my skin so much. Because they didn't hide it, you know? Like, they were honest about how they felt on their real accounts. Yep, even y'all's real Facebooks. But you don't troll me, Juliet. So. Hey, Nicole. The only one that hasn't reached out to me yet is Tate. Which is fine. I mean, I get it. I know. I know, Mama D. I'm alright. How are you, girl? Yeah, babe. 20 an hour. Just ignore you when you're upset. So hot. Choke on that. Don't start with me. Now I know who you are, babe. Shut up. Someone's on here with my pictures. What do you mean? In her defense, me and her are busy bees lately. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, me too. It's supposed to snow tonight. Guys! It already snowed here and it's supposed to snow more. What does Santa say? <laughs> count last night with my profile picture. I'm so sorry, Nikki. I I seen your comment, babe. I seen it. Trust me. Yeah, and it's not done yet. It's supposed to snow more. I could just turn on the heat for a few minutes. <laughs> Where's Dom? He's at work. He gets off in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the comments. He just changed his screen name. I don't know why he changed it to Big Mammy. <laughs> no snow here in Texas. Dang. I'm at home. I'm at the shelter. It's cold. Yes, it is. Hey! Unmute Mama D. Don't you do that to her. You better, you better unmute her right now. Unmute Mama D right now. We don't mute Mama D. No, we don't. We don't do that. That's just not what we do. <laughs> that is just not what we do. I unmuted her. 
Mama D, you're unmuted. He was being a butthead. Just Dom is in trouble now. Yeah. We don't mute Mama D. We don't mute her. She's been around for a while. We don't mute her. No, we don't. It's not funny. I know you're not trying to go to sleep, little girl. Yeah. See? Mama D been around for years. <laughs> so don't start. <laughs> don't you mute my Mama D again. <laughs> and you know I have the right to mute you, sir. So mute her again and I'll mute you. You're in big trouble, mister. <laughs> I'm feeling good, y'all. Like, y'all don't understand, like, yes, to start this pregnancy was hell. But, like, I'm feeling so good. Runs and hides. <laughs> I'll be 18 weeks tomorrow. But this is also my fifth baby, so that's why I'm so big. I'm 18 weeks tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so cold, I'm standing by the heater. <gasps> I'm due June 19th. Are you having a girl or a boy? I need Prego mommy friends. Oh, Mama D, I'm sorry. You're having a girl. I'm having a boy. June 17th is my daughter's birthday. Great day. Oh. Yes, ma'am. I know why. You want more kids? Girl, I'm done after this one. They better tie my twos. I'm not playing. I am not leaving that hospital until they do. Mandy, I'm going to follow you back. Girl, you ain't old. You are not old. Why can't you, Juliet? Y'all, when I say <laughs> I am donezo after this pregnancy, I am donezo. I am getting my tubes tied. And probably burnt and clipped and probably a partial hysterectomy. Oh my goodness. Got your tubes tied. You can have it reversed. You do know that, right, Juliet? They won't do what? They already said they'll tie my tubes. Trust me, I'm on top of that. I don't know about the partial hysterectomy, though. But I, this is my fifth kid, so I would hope they would. Shit, I don't want no more. I do not want no more. Say dance and he'll dance. Yeah. Say dance, say dance. Dang. Yep, I'm pregnant. With a boy. And he is big already. You know, he is a big boy. I don't answer that question. They're safe. That's all you need to know. Thank you, Mama D. Hi, Lola. Excited to. Uh, no, it's actually a remote to my ring light, but it doesn't work. So, yes, Victoria, I'm pregnant. 
with a boy. It's all over my page. Oh, thank you, Mama D. Yeah, it's my last baby, and I finally got my boys, so I'm happy. I'm happy. And I'm done after him. Done. Done so no more. Time I choose do whatever you can to make sure I don't have no more. Nope, the doctor is not making me. I want to. I want to be done. I don't want any more. It, but at the same time, it's like really bittersweet and really, really hard to say that because I don't know. It's just, it's difficult to actually say that I'm done because before I found out I was pregnant with my first, I was told that I would never be able to have kids. So when I started having kids, I was like, oh, I'm going to have so many babies. I ain't never going to be done. And now I'm just like, yeah, no. Yeah, I was hiding it from TikTok. And it wasn't two weeks ago. That was like a couple months back. I don't have to share my entire life with social media. Hi, Max. And anybody that's got an issue with that can get out of my life. Skedaddle. I'm doing good, Max. I'm pregnant with my boy, finally. And I am done after him. No more. I am 18 weeks tomorrow. I'm the bodyguard. I'll tell him off. You get him, Mama D. Yes, ma'am, I am. With a little boy. I'm due June 19th. Thank you. It's my last pregnancy, too. I'm done. Y'all don't understand. I know. I know. But I'm just... I just want to enjoy this pregnancy. Like, I don't want the drama. I don't want the bullshit. I don't want any of that. Like, I don't sit here and talk shit about people. So, for them to, like still be so obsessed with my life that they gotta talk shit on me is crazy yes I'm very excited I'm extremely excited I think he's gonna look like his daddy I really do so I'm gonna stay live until 8 and then I'm going to get off here do you have a name already? yes but we're not announcing it on TikTok until he's born and we may not announce it on TikTok at all Honestly. Katie, I already answered you. I said I don't answer questions like that. So, please stop asking. I don't answer about my kids' whereabouts. And I don't answer how many kids I have. So, please, stop asking. Thank you, Max. If you ask again, you will be muted. Okay, you're getting out of here. Goodbye. I warned you. I'm not playing this no more. <laughs> I know you didn't. I know you didn't, Mama D. You're good. You're good. Like, it's not that hard. If I say stop asking, then stop asking. Shit.
It's really not that hard. I know, Mama D, you're good. Yay. You're good, I know you didn't. Literally, <laughs> it beats stop. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna get off here at around eight. <sighs> yeah. Oh, whoa, phone almost fell. Oh, I know. Some people don't know how to take no for an answer and it's sad. It's honestly sad. And it's honestly annoying too, because it's like, no, you don't need to know my whole life. You really don't. This is a social media app. I think that the paint is starting to come off the windows, y'all. That's sad. There's snow on the ground. That's all the weather is. There's snow on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually show her in live, but it happens every once in a while where I accidentally show her, so. Yeah. So cold here freezing oh goodness thank you she's a mess y'all she is so spoiled it ain't even funny but i am so excited to be a boy mom like i heard it's so different and so fun Boys are so different. I believe it. Thank you, girl. He's drawing a it's different and fun. Well, so like, I'm going to have to relearn basically everything. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. It's going to be like being a new mom all over again. It's going to be so different. What is Herbie doing? He's opening a present. Yeah, see. What is Herbie doing? Ooh. Nadia just caught up to me. Hold on. Why is Herbie smiling? He's so happy that it's Christmas. Well, friends. So. The nausea for one. Yeah, I'm alright. The nausea for one is way different. Like, in the beginning of the pregnancy, I could barely even move my head without being nauseous. Hey, Nova. I'm trying, y'all. Hold on, I gotta turn off the seat. I'm gonna have to go get some fresh air. Yeah, That's what I'm going to have to do here in just a few minutes. I'm going to have to get off live and go get some fresh air. Yeah, like I could barely pick my head up off the pillow. It was so bad. It's just now getting to where I can move around and not feel sick instantly. So... I hope so, too. This... Just, it comes and goes in waves, honestly. Honestly, I think I'm about to get off here and try to go get some fresh air. See if that helps. And then I gotta give Lily her bedtime bath. Does it get better? Is the nose going to get better? Please tell me it does. I 
I can't rest right now. Nobody's home. I have to be up with Lily. <sighs> but yeah, y'all. I think that I'm going to get off here. I really hope so, Mama D, because this is awful. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to get off here, go get some fresh air. I might be back on in a little bit to do some makeup, practice my makeup. But right now, I need to go get some fresh air, like, ASAP, before I throw up. So, I'll see you guys later.